everybody, it's Coach Neil here. I got my buddy Sean, as always. He's helped me out today. We're at the Hayabusa uh, Training Academy and we're working on some techniques. Today I'm gonna show you something I call switch stars. You guys can call it whatever you want. You can call it the Mother Teresa for all I care. But what we're gonna do is it's a little misdirection to a darce choke or whatever you call it, okay? So it's gonna be from a cross by position and riding the head. Most darces, can you go on your back please? Put your head towards the camera. Most times, like when guys do the darts, like it's, it's more on like countering towards you. But I, I'm gonna set this up and I have a lot of success with it with me forcing him to turn away. And that's gonna come up uh, head pressure, uh, shoulder pressure on the head to screw a little back that way. All right, so basically I, I end up getting a good cross body side mount position. And my goal is when I do this, I wanna get this arm elevated and tucked. So, you know, like normally guys will have side mount or they'll be here or they'll be riding the head. The more pressure I have on the head there, the more this elbow is going to come up, the more easy it's going to be, the easier it's going to be to set up the darts too. Okay. So when I'm here personally, when I, I like to get a good bite on the head, but I, I like to keep nice, keep that knee nice and high. And I've always, I like the fact that I can fight almost like a two on one here. I can like start looking for locks. This is good for punching as well. But there's something, there's something here called, I call, it's just a reverse half, and you can finish it, but it's, it's, it's going to be just misdirection for today. And the reverse half, it's just like my fist in the armpit, move the center of my chest into his arm, and keeping him kind of at this 45 angle. And once I go here, it's just a lot of pressure, okay? It's not, I just used it as a lot of misdirection. I don't really care so much about the... Uh, I don't really care so much about the choke. So, so when I'm here and I'm trying to ride. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm gonna try to switch my arm. If I feel this elbow up, I gotta crowd it. So when I'm here, whether you're side mount and like kind of controlling the bottom of the arm or you're trying to look for this, I'm just trying to keep pressure on his head and I want this elbow up. So good control, I'm here, okay? So it's really a personal choice. Locked, through, working two on ones or whatever you want. This is all I want, this elbow. That's your key. When you feel this elbow up, it's your green light. So I'm here, I'm riding the head, I'm trying to play this game, and now I'm jamming him. That arm is mine right now. And from this position, as I'm trying to work and play, I'm actually gonna go to my, I call this my safety block. It's just blocking the hip. It's just, I'm encouraging more pressure this way. I do not want pressure towards me. So no matter what you do here, I just want pressure this way. Okay, so now I got good chest cavity pressure. Nice chest cavity. Don't put it in your stomach. That doesn't do anything for you. Chest cavity, be heavy. Okay, you can be on your knees if like I am now, but I'm mainly being on my knees so I don't feel too heavy for him. He doesn't deserve that. John's a good guy. All right, so I'm here. Now what I'm gonna do is as I start creeping my hips up, I'm going to switch my arm quickly and in real life, you gotta punch this. Like you wanna care, bicep slap his neck. Now from here, I keep my head pressure. My knee comes up and I touch my knee to my elbow. My knee to my elbow. My head will switch to the body and I'm gonna push off my right hand. I'll, when I turn it, you'll see it. And as I do that, my left knee hits the ground, my right leg comes up and I'm gonna kick my right leg back. I'm gonna kick it. Now, the reason why I kick it is because when I start setting this up, my chest is too high. So when I'm here and I come across, my chest is way too high. So when I push, I put my other knee on the ground, I kick this, you'll see my chest lines up right on that shoulder. From here, I could probably tap them out just by squeezing with one arm. But what I'm gonna do is just hit my figure four, crawl up nice and high, and instead of like turking or doing anything fancy like that, I'm just gonna be heavy. I'm just gonna flex, okay? You don't need a lot of motion. You don't need the tilt. You don't need to drop to your hip. It's not, it's not necessary on the switch stars, okay? Everything will move nice and tight when you do it properly. So don't, you okay? Yeah. So don't, uh, don't feel like you have to add any more steps. Don't sprawl out, like just, just give it a try first. And if you start failing, then you can go to do whatever you normally do. Okay, let's go head towards the camera. 
Okay, so I'm riding the head, I cried up tight. I still got that nice head position, the shoulder position on the head. It's up to you, like I said, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of ways to do this properly and, and not like, and be comfortable. A lot of guys lock up, eh. I'm always looking for striking or I'm looking for offense. So it's really up to you. So I just got pressure on the head. I start working, I'm trying to do something, but it's just a distraction. His arm comes down, I still grab his wrist, I'm trying to make something happen. But in my back of my mind, I'm thinking, is his elbow up? Is he kind of turned away? I'm ready to go. That's what I'm looking for. If that elbow ain't up, I ain't going. So I feel that pressure, I feel pretty good. I'm working, boom, knee comes up, slap. Knee goes to elbow, switch my head, drop my knee down, catapult this leg back. Now I see my chest, Look, I'm looking right at his ear. Okay, and he, he cleaned it, it's beautiful. Get my chest on his shoulder, figure four, and just settle down and flex. There we go, no turf, no nothing. Switch stars, very smooth. And you can do this from a cradle, it, depending on how you lock your cradle up. If, I, if I'm able to lock my cradle, and his arm's behind me, this is all day. If I suck him in from my cradle, and I feel sharp here, it's the same scenario. The same scenario, same exact thing. It's just done from a cradle. So anytime you have that arm and that cross bite and that elbow's up, he's always paying attention to that far arm. He's thinking you're gonna attack that far arm all day long. It's right here. You can shut it up an arm bar, eh, give up position, or you can use switch darts. I think you guys will, once you work on it and get it down, I think you guys will end up hitting this a lot. And you guys just keep writing me your thank yous on Facebook and Instagram, and it will make me feel good. But thanks, Sean, for getting choked a bunch. You're the man. And uh, pay attention for the next technique on Hayabusa's social media. All right, thanks, guys. See you next time. Subscribe to Hayabusa's channel right now and check out all my Grand Marshal videos, the ones that you don't tune in for. And if you don't subscribe, your training partners are gonna learn it and they're gonna tap you out with it and you're gonna feel like a fool. Do it now, watch them all, have a blast. I'll see you on the next video.